Before using ultrasound to guide a lumbar puncture, we must discuss the pertinent anatomy of the lumbar spine and how it appears on ultrasound. In the transverse plane, this is what the lumbar vertebral body looks like. You can see the spinous process, lamina, transverse process, and facet. So here on the right is what this view would look like on ultrasound. The spinous process is the rounded peak with the corresponding shadow. This is important as the spinous process marks the midline of the spine. I find it useful to identify the spinous process first and then rotate to long axis to find the next spinous process. Sometimes we use the low frequency curvilinear probe to get these views. On this clip, the operator is sliding the probe in the transverse plane. Here you can see the facets, the transverse process, as well as the spinous process. The spinous process here may appear to you like a steeple. Here you can see the vertebral body with its hyperechoic top and corresponding shadow downward. Now let's take a look at the spine in the sagittal plane. This is a view of the sagittal lumbar spine with the hyperechoic spinal structures. You can see the paraspinal muscles which appear striated or striped and the hyperechoic bony structures here with the corresponding shadowing down. You can see that this view looks the same whether the patient was lying down or sitting up. Great, now you know the sonosignature of the lumbar spine. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.